everybody, Mark again here, Weatherman Plus. I got an important message for y'all at the end of the video. Thank you so much for watching. This is so late in the evening. I had something really important happen today, but thank God I caught it in time. Thank you all so much for your prayers. Y'all are the best community I've ever seen. It is finally confirmed, guys. Not only the western track going all the way towards Florida. Now a Cat 4 hurricane is estimated at 132 miles per hour, 161 miles per hour wind gusts. When it comes on impact with these storms, now this is going to cause massive power outages. The difference between a 3 and a 4 really at this point isn't even going to matter. It's going to be catastrophic. Matter of fact, the flooding's going up. Over here, it's 12 to 16 feet now. Everything's really gotten worse and worse. But it is going to stay all the way towards Georgia, South Carolina line as a cat. 181 miles per hour sustained wind. It's going to be strong, just like what the HRRR is showing. And if you take it off radar and you just put it on infrared and look how big she really is. Look at that, going all the way up into North Carolina and Virginia. Just a big old storm. That is Idalia. Now it has gone up to 12 to 16 feet right here now. And it's still 8 to 12 feet right here because of that westward shift that it has done. So you can see all of it is just a lot of heavy rainfall coming. A lot of surge. 7 to 11, 6 to 9, 4 to 6. It went down from 4 to 6 for Tampa Bay. Matter of fact, all the numbers on the... Uh, storm inundation has gone down i will show you but now it goes all the way from south carolina georgia two to four feet it carries on one to three feet two to four feet over here then one to three feet this is going to be a lot of storm surge a lot of power outages and there is a special message here that you can go and see what national hurricane center says is still catastrophic impacts it's just bigger area now so this link is in the description as well but you can see the rapid intensification for yourself. It's kind of like if you had your hand in a pool and you wished it real fast and it did like a little quick wave up. That's what it's doing around in a circle. And you can see this. It's just like a little area that's whipping so fast down here. It's making big walls. Check this out. You can see the whipping. Just whipping it. Now, I also have the storm surge inundation map, of course, for you. It links in the description. Now, you can see over here for the whole bay of Tampa, up to three feet storm surge. You have lost your yellow of six feet. You have lost your orange of up to nine feet. Nine Red now is over nine feet. And that's what you have over here in the bend because everything moved that much further to the west. It changed everything to the west, guys. Going 10 miles inland. That's going to be a lot of storm surge. I heard all, all these towns all along the coast. I heard they all evacuated from what I can understand, which would be a great thing. But links in the description if you want to go zoom into your area. The rainfall is just going to be a train of very heavy rainfall because you don't know which one it is. It's like the GFS is right here. The Euro is right here. They're both showing terrible amounts. And you can see this right here. This is a Euro next three days. GFS next three days. Literally one lower than the other. And it's all because of that western track, which GFS saw first. Links in the description if you want to go zoom in and see what your possible rainfall amount is. Now, this is HRRR for the next 48 hours. Wind gusts. You can zoom in, see your area, even see your whole neighborhood if you wanted to. I don't think it would tell you at this point, but you can see pretty far in. You can even pinpoint it and drag it around and see what your wind gust is and that's on any model if you look down here in the bottom right you got euro h triple r you got gfs you got the nam and they got, got the icon guys because they all showing something different but the h triple r and the euro they, they pretty much in agreement it's just h triple r is a little bit more intense now it's not a tropical model but take it into a factor that once this gets on land it's not tropical no more guys it's tropical impacts but it's really in HRRR's territory. And HRRR is seeing high 60s go all the way across. All these high 60s, even the 50s. But it just rain bands steady smashing against these trees. This is all going to be power outages. If at least for a little while. Some areas will come back quicker than others. But definitely the hurricane area is going to be the worst. But thank you so much for your time. God bless you and your families. And I do hope y'all will be safe and i do appreciate everyone giving me the prayers uh actually caught something just in the nick of time the doc said and it was pretty close if you don't know what i'm talking about i'm a community tab i posted something that had something happened today to me that's why this is going up late at night where 
nobody could see it. <laughs> it just so it helps someone. It was pretty serious. It was pretty dire. But thank the Lord it was caught. And I'll be okay. I got to take things easy. But I will always be here for you. When the Lord take me, the Lord take me. There's nothing you can do about that. <laughs> now Psalm 119. 105 through 115. Give a little bit of peace tonight. Everybody slow down a little bit. There's a lot going on. Just breathe. Let it happen. Stay bunkered down like you're bunkered down for a tornado. Don't go nowhere. Thy word is a lamp unto my feet and a light unto my path. I have sworn and I will perform it that I will keep thy righteous judgments. I am afflicted very much. Quicken me, O Lord, according unto thy word. Accept, I beseech thee, the free will offering of my mouth, O Lord, and teach me thy judgments. My soul is continually in my hand, yet do I not forget thy law. The wicked have laid a snare for me, Yet I erred not from thy precepts. Thy testimonies have I taken as an heritage forever, for they are the rejoicing of my heart. I have inclined my heart to perform thy statutes always, even unto the end. I hate vain thoughts, but thy law do I love. Thou art my hiding place and my shield. I hope in thy word. Depart from me, ye evildoers, for I will keep the commandments of my God. Amen. God bless you all. Keep every single one of you safe. My heart goes out for you truly. All glory goes to God. Our Father in heaven, Yahweh, who will keep you safe every day of your life. Keep your hearts and your minds on him. Amen. <laughs> Hallelujah. God bless you all. Prepare for the power outages because they're coming.